Just a quick disclaimer before the video starts. I know there have been other Japanese players who could be stars, but I'm talking about a pitcher who his team, the Yomiuri Giants, posted him to the MLB and a team actually signed him, but nobody has been talking about him. It was first Shohei Otani, then was Yusei Kikuchi, but now there's somebody new in town. How is everybody doing today? It's Sports Hello Backwards on the video. Today, I'm going to be talking about a Japanese pitcher, the Toronto Blue Jays sign, who could be a star. Before I start though, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell and leave a like on this video. But without further ado, let's get into it. Now you guys, the pitcher that I am talking about is Shun Yamaguchi. And Yamaguchi was born on July 11th, 1987 in Japan. Now I know the guy is slowly getting old for baseball. He's 32. But we'll get to more of that later. The first thing I want to show you guys about Yamaguchi is his pitching repertoire. Now, his repertoire, his repertoire isn't so bad. From websites, they said it's good for Japan, but not really for the MLB. So let's not waste any time and just take a quick look at it. The first pitch we need to look at is his fastball. His fastball is nothing too crazy. It's normally low 90s or high 80s. So he's not that hard of a thrower. And... I mean, normally that doesn't go well. I mean, for some pitchers like Kyle Hendricks, it went, it's gone well. But for Yamaguchi, I mean, we'll see. If it's been working in Japan, we'll see how it works in the MLB. But the pitches he rarely uses is his two-seamer and his curveball. But his slider has a good break and can lead to ground balls. But his best pitch is easily his splitter. His splitter is the right pitch to use for ground balls. And from what I saw from highlights in Japan... It looks good. I mean, the split has really been helping, and it's been making people hit a lot of ground balls to get outs. Now, looking at his pitching repertoire, the question really is, it looked good in Japan, but is it good enough for the MLB? To be honest, we'll see. I mean, there have been websites that have said, not really, it's good in Japan, but not for the MLB. But we're just going to have to see, because if it looked good in Japan and some of the pitches that he throws aren't so bad... I have a feeling that he could have an ERA around 3 or 4, so nothing too crazy. But anyways, the second thing we need to look at is his age and his contract. Now, I was planning to make this video before Yamaguchi signed with the team, but it is what it is. Like I said at the beginning of the video, Yamaguchi is 32 years old. You guys are probably thinking, sports, Yamaguchi is getting old for baseball now and is no longer in his prime. I admit he's getting old. But he just came up having a great 2019 season. I have a feeling he'll still have two, three years left in him to be in his prime. Now, the consequence is he won't last long in the MLB. I'm guessing four years max. And besides, we've had other players like Daho Lee or Hunsu Kim who signed at a pretty late age. Like Hunsu Kim, I believe, was 28 and Daho Lee was 33. So, like, some of those guys, they started off late in the MLB and... For example, Dali lasted for a year and Hunsu Kim only lasted for like two, three years. So, yeah, that's probably what's going to happen to Yamaguchi since he's starting off late. But I'm guessing four years max is how long he's going to be staying in the MLB. Because by the time those four years pass, he's 36 years old. And that's old for baseball. Now, let's look at his contract. So, on December 19th, 2019, the Toronto Blue Jays ended up signing Yamaguchi to two years, $6 million. Now, I would say that's a good contract, because you don't want to give the guy too much money, because you don't know what to expect from him. Also, I would say the Blue Jays did a good move signing him, because the Blue Jays could use a fifth spot in rotation, and Yamaguchi could be the right guy. Now, the final thing we have to look at is his stats. Like I said earlier... 2019 was a great year for him. He went 16-4 and with a 2.78 ERA and had 194 strikeouts with a 1.17 whip. That's Cy Young stats right there. Now, fun fact. Earlier in his career, he was a reliever. And he was actually pretty good as a reliever, not gonna lie. His best year as a reliever was in 2012 when he went 1-2 and with a 1.74 ERA and had 62 strikeouts in 62 innings. But one more thing we need to look at, at Yamaguchi. He hasn't been too healthy in Japan. In Japan, he wasn't too healthy. Like last year, he was out for most of the season. So that's one thing that could potentially not make Yamaguchi be a star. Healthness. Now, Yamaguchi, like I said, 2019 was a great year. He was fully healthy. But 2018 is another story. He was on two teams 
and didn't really even play that much. But at the end of the day, is Sh- does Shun Yamaguchi have potential to be a star? Here's what I think. If this guy is struggling in the rotation, then put him in the bullpen. Because like I said, this guy was really good in the bullpen. I mean, he had an ERA around 2, around 3, even under 2 as a bullpen in Japan. As a bullpen pitcher in Japan. And I'm telling you guys that Yamaguchi will be successful at one of those spots. But that is going to be it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. I'm on the road to 300 subscribers, so make sure to subscribe. But I will see you all next time. I'm out.